Hey guys, this week in the rundown, we're looking at round two of enlisted women selected to serve aboard subs. We have some uniform updates. Applications are being accepted for the new Command Senior Chief rating, and we're answering your questions on the latest PFA changes. It's round two for the selection of enlisted women to serve aboard subs. The previous selection marked the first time enlisted females were selected to be submariners. Once again, the Navy is calling for qualified female applicants from all ratings to apply. Check out the new NAV admin on NPC for the requirements. Next, the Navy plans to roll out a new cold weather parka available for purchase November 1st at select Navy exchanges and through the NEX customer service line. Also, wear of the knit watch cap has expanded to wear by all sailors. The knit cap will be allowed when wearing a bridge coat, reefer, pea coat, cold weather parka, NWU type one parka, or all weather coats. Sorry if you're a fan of the Eisenhower jacket, the knit cap cannot be worn with it since it's not considered cold weather outerwear. So last week we told you about the new Command Senior Chief rating, and the Navy is now asking for applicants. The Navy is asking for highly motivated Senior Chiefs and Master Chiefs to apply to the program. The deadline to submit a package is December 7th, so be sure to get those in if you're interested. The NAV admin provides the details on what you need to do and where it needs to go. Lastly, we have a couple of questions about the recent PFA policy change. Janet Tanoa wants to know, if someone wants to stay in the Navy after three PFA failures, do they have to be within standards before the next weigh-in, or can they just pass the PRT? Good question. You have to be cleared by medical first to see if you're eligible to participate. If eligible, and if you pass the PRT, you will be allowed to stay in. Keith Wright asks, if you have one failure, does it stay at one if you pass the fall PRT or reset to zero? Well, the failure will remain and will not be reset to zero since all PFA failures are being reset to one. However, if you failed in spring 2013, but passed in spring 2016, a three-year period, then you will be reset to zero. Last question is from Keith Hoover who asked, does it also cover the reserves? Yes, the change in policy is implemented for all Navy active duty and reserve components. Well, those are some of your questions. If you have any more, email us at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.